You're on. Okay. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to glaze a cup. Um, we have here uh, 13 what I call shop glazes or studio glazes. Um, and glazing a cup in those large uh, buckets is really easy. So um, you can pick one or two glazes, maybe even three. Um, I recommend um, just as, if you're starting out, just to pick like one glaze and do an interior glaze and an exterior glaze or exterior of that same glaze. Um, if you want to see how different glazes interact with one another, you can always uh, pick two different glazes. But what I want to show you today is really simple. Um, we've already mixed up this glaze. This is our Timiku glaze. I'm going to pour the glaze into the interior of this, then I'm going to pour it out, and then I'm going to dip the outside of this. Okay, so right here I've got solo cup. You can come a little closer, maybe. I like to fill this kind of full, and I'm going to do this right over top of the bucket so I don't make a mess. So I'm pouring this straight in. You don't really want to fill it all the way up. I'll leave it right there. And within a couple seconds, I'll start to pour this out and I rotate it so the whole inside of the cup will be covered. So if any of the top area um, is bare and you didn't, uh, maybe didn't get all the, uh, the inside to um, be glazed, um, you can always just dip your finger in here and uh, rub it around to do that. So now, um, if I have any areas out here I want to like wipe off, sometimes it'll drip down the outside of it. Um, I can just take a damp sponge and I can do that. But right now, um, I'm good with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it now upside down. I wanna make sure I go straight and not on a side because I don't want more glaze to go inside of this and create like uh, a big splash. I'm gonna go straight down. I'm gonna hold uh, real firmly here at the base with my two fingers. I might get a little bit of glaze, but I wanna go down to where I have about, maybe about a quarter of an inch of unglazed uh, uh, bisque uh, showing. So I'm gonna go straight down. I'm gonna hold it for a second. One 1,000. And I'm gonna go straight up nice and slow. And I might just give it a little up and down shake. And if any of this were to, uh, uh, you know, get on the bottom of my cup, I'm gonna wipe that off. And I turn this upside down only after it's dry. And there's gonna be, usually, sometimes there's gonna be like these extra little drips at the top. That's totally fine. And that's why I'm gonna hold it. Sometimes, if you, if you don't want that dripping down the side of your cup, because um, some glazes you'll see that drip, um, I'll hold it like upside down until those firm up a little bit before I can actually flip it like this. So if I had glaze, and I got a little glaze in my hand, that's fine. If I had glaze on the bottom side, I would just, and I'll show you guys right here. I've just got a wet sponge in a bucket. You can take your piece, press it down onto that sponge, just press gently and go back and forth. Just give it a little wiggle. And that's a good way to get the same distance or thickness of unglazed area around the bottom of your piece. Okay, so make sure there's no glaze on it. And you can take it out, put this on the high fire shelf and we'll get it into a kiln.